all right in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to install call of duty mobile for pc super efficient super fast tutorial and it's going to give you everything that you need here's going to be the most important thing install game loop for cod mobile i'm going to link it down in the description below go down and install that right away it's the official launcher for tencent it's going to be the one you want to use there might be other launchers for cod mobile but it might get you banned so use this one we're going to log into this install cod mobile right here it's in my library super simple you're going to scroll down just a little bit boom cod mobile right there otherwise just search it in the top bar once you get cod mobile installed we're going to go over to the top right we're going to check the settings i would copy every setting that i do have here if you have other preferences like the basic certainly change that if you need to once you get into these settings everything else here is set up for a high-end pc However, this game is pretty easy to run as it is a mobile game. If you run into any issues, I would definitely just lower these settings or set some of them to automatic and you should alleviate any problems and issues that you are having. You are probably going to have to either log into your Activision account is what I would recommend. If you have to use a Google Play account or something of that nature, that's not a problem either. You're going to get to the main menu here and it's probably going to put you into a tutorial right away. Finish the tutorial, afterwards we'll be able to set up all your settings, keybinds, etc. You're going to go into the settings up here into the top right. These are going to be super important to so follow along closely. You have three categories here. If you want to play any of the other modes, I would definitely copy my settings. Over here, you want to select Advance and Hip Fire for the most normal Call of Duty experience. Furthermore, let's go down to basic and I will slowly show you guys all of my settings if you'd like to copy these. If you read through them and you decide something else might be better for you, then go ahead and switch those. Some of these are going to be personal preference. When we get down to some of the bottom settings, they are going to be very, very important to have them the same way I do. Starting here, ADS, tap and hold the ADS, important buttons there. Tap crouch while sprinting, important. Always sprint, personal preference. Uh, if you're playing like search and destroy and whatnot, you definitely would probably want always sprint off, but I personally like it always on. Easy to slide, easy to jump corners, things of that nature. FOV is super important. Most people like to play that full. Markers, you can change the opacities and the size here. Super helpful because everything is bright and colorful in this game. We get down here to map settings. These are probably fine to leave alone. Now, these map settings are important. You want to change the zoom all the way down so you can see more of the map. See more of the map, turn the icon down low so it's not massive on your screen, and it's super, super helpful. Again, you'll probably have to switch these exact settings for every mode. Audio and graphics, super duper important here. To max your frames, you're going to want 120 frames in this game on PC. You're going to have to put your setting here on ultra, and you're going to have to do medium graphic quality. If you do high or very high, um, at least to my knowledge, it's always been this way. Medium is the best one. It's going to give you 120 frames. If you go high or very high, it's going to change something with the game and it's going to give you 60 frames instead. As far as like real time shadows, I have a scope on. Everything else is basically off here. Like I said, you can copy my exact settings if you would like. Now, once we get done with key mapping, that's how you change your controls. I'm going to show you that real quick. Then I would definitely, after you finish downloads, I would do this start shader preload. Now, real quick, I'll show you exactly what I mean by downloads. This is the download button right here you see on the main page. Definitely click into this and hit download all. It's going to download everything as it says here. You've got HD resources, you've got weapons, you have skins, you have maps, you have operators. It's going to download everything. You're going to want that done. Once you do finish that, come back out go up here to the top right you'll see this bar here the entire time the only time this bar won't be here for game loop when you launch the game is if you hit f11 like so game is now full screen i would utilize this when you're playing f11 back out of full screen and if you do need to use key mapping um, to switch anything at any point now if you have any issues with game loop i would definitely relaunch the game but uh, or sorry, relaunch the game. Try that. If you're still having consistent issues, you might need to do a full reboot and reinstall of Game Loop and Call of Duty Mobile. Hopefully that helps. Now, me personally, these are all standard settings to my knowledge. I just changed the crouch button, which is listed down here as shift. I have auto sprint on. Normally, that's my shift button. I switched crouch to shift so I can prone and I can crouch with shift if I have stopped moving. Otherwise, while I'm sprinting forwards, I'm doing... I'm doing slides and I'm able to jump and it's just super convenient. Um, you'll want to turn off this key mapping button. It will be on when you log in to the game for the first time. 
and because it's going to tell you what all the keys are in game it'll tell them literally on the screen what's what each thing is when you're in game these settings will look much better to you you'll be able to see what everything is pointing at but ultimately quick rundown shift is crouch or slide or whatever you want to consider that space is jump right click is aim r for reload q and g are grenade related switching your tactical or your grenade grenade for activating the grenade e is going to be your ultimate ability your operator specialist three four and five are your kill streaks uh, furthermore most of the things you'll be able to figure out by seeing the placement of everything on the screen by looking at your key mapping you can also leave the key mapping tips on if you would like you need to switch this for battle royale as well and then there are gamepad options if you're trying to use controller i'm a controller cod guy and trust me when i tell you this it just wasn't that smooth aiming unless there's a tutorial or unless there's some setting you need to change when you move your joystick it feels like it's like fidgeting and like skipping frames it's kind of weird but i was able to play and do decent do decently well with it but the kbm is just so much smoother if you're on playstation controller you have to use ds4 windows to be able to play a controller and for it to recognize on this game i think if you're xbox you can just plug and play but that's going to be it for that make sure you save your settings down here at the bottom and then usually you can turn off this default controller setting on the right that's just a little tab on the side full screen your game f11 to full screen it again and you're good to go now last thing go back in here go down to graphics go down to the very bottom awesome thing to do to make sure your shaders are looking great and you don't have any further issues start that it's going to make you restart your game so i wanted you to do this last now that's going to be it you're going to be able to launch your game back up and you're going to be able to go out there and dominate all the modes are on the right and i hope you guys have a wonderful time with this i've been playing this game for like three days now and i can't put it down and I've played Call of Duty forever. So if you like the video, like the video. Drop me a sub if you want to. Uh, currently, I'm working on a video where I'm going to drop a nuke with every single primary in the game. And so uh, if you want to stick around for that journey, uh, definitely come on over the live streams. But that's it for today. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.